A new vaccine is to go on trial in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi in 2018. The announcement comes just ahead of World Malaria Day, which is on Tuesday. The RTSS vaccine will be given to more than 750,000 people over a period of 5 to 17 months. The vaccine trains the human immune system to attack the malaria parasite, which is spread by mosquitoes. Malaria, of course, remains the biggest killer in Africa, despite great gains being made to curb the spread of the disease. Well, CGTN's Clementine Logan has been following those developments for us, and she joins us live now here in our Nairobi studios. Clementine, of course, big news indeed in the medical field. Just talk to us through talk to talk us through the medical significance of this vaccine trial. Yeah, well, Lindy, this is potentially very significant, as you heard there. This vaccine has been in the making now for 30 years. It would be the world's first malaria vaccine and it's important to remember as you said there Africa bears the greatest burden overall as far as malaria is concerned with young children being uh, the majority of its victims and the most vulnerable group. In 2015 uh, it was thought one child died every two minutes from malaria and in Kenya alone uh, there are around six million cases and 12,000 deaths reported every year so that gives you some sense of the scale of which uh, those battling malaria are up against. So hopes are pinned on this vaccine working alongside other existing and effective preventive treatments like insecticide treated nets, spraying homes with insecticide and intermittent preventive treatments for pregnant women, uh, reducing the overall number of cases of malaria quite significantly. Mm, indeed a real game changer. But Kim, just explain to us how the vaccine will work and what are its chances of success in this trial? Well, this is the first malaria vaccine to have successfully completed a phase three clinical trial which is where it's given to a large number of a specific target group. So in this case, young uh, children, and that's really to test its efficacy and look for any side effects and things like that. It's an injectable vaccine that's given over four doses to infants between five and 17 months old. And it was tested on over 15,000 children across seven sub-Saharan African countries. Its overall efficacy rate was around 39%. So that's about four in 10 malaria cases prevented, which might not sound great when you compare it to some other vaccines but if you imagine 1 million cases of malaria and 400,000 of those being prevented that's still potentially a lot of lives saved so the next step is for it to be rolled out in a real world pilot program in Kenya Ghana and Malawi starting next year and over the next three to five years they'll be gathering critical data about the efficacy uh, any side effects any dangers potentially and the overall feasibility of administering these sorts of vaccines in endemic areas which can often be hard to reach. Um, but the World Health Organization has stressed that this will be complementary to those other preventive treatments that I measured, which have also been shown to be very effective in reducing malaria cases. It really is quite incredible. Thank you so much, Clementine Logan, joining us here live in our studios on this uh, uh, malaria vaccine that's to be tested out in various parts of Africa.